think what we're seeing is a deepening of democracy. If you look at what African movements have done, is it's to force all of us to reevaluate what we mean by democratization. In the US, where I come from, uh, democracy has been reduced to a two-party electoral competition. And many of us feel that that's not an adequate meaning of what democracy is supposed to convey. Uh, what we're seeing in these street protests, what we're seeing with many different movements throughout the continent, uh, is a sense that we need to rethink what democracy means, and that democracy has to more directly connect with the aspirations of the population. Uh, and so in many ways, I think African countries are, are far ahead of those of us in the West who are only now starting to question uh, what democracy means uh, in a real sense. I think fundamentally there's a sense that democracy cannot begin and end in, with elections. Uh, there's a sense that democracy uh, has to reflect popular wills, popular aspirations. It has to lead to uh, something more than just a, an occasional election every four years, but actually genuine improvements in people's political and economic conditions. Uh, one of the things that I'm most heartened by when we look at the upsurge of protests across the continent is the sense that you know, people are really thinking about this long term. Uh, their goal, as we heard with many of the activists, is not simply endorsing a political candidate and winning a specific election, but talking more about the structural conditions that continue to hinder much of African life. Um, and so I think that notion that democracy has to lead to tangible improvements uh, is something that a lot of us would benefit from in our own countries. I think that, that too, we have to shift our uh, perspective. Right? Many of the movements that have arisen in the African context have confronted tremendous repression by the state, uh, yet they persevere in the face of tremendous odds. Uh, over and over, we've seen and we've heard from many of the activists about imprisonment, about torture, about abuse, uh, yet they keep going out into the streets. And to me, you know, to have a, a narrow standard where protest is only successful when it overthrows the government or leads to concrete, specific political action is the wrong way of thinking about it. I think their timelines, as we've heard, are much longer term. Uh, they're talking about much deeper problems and deeper transformations. Uh, and by that standard, even if they don't achieve immediate results, um, I think they've been successful already.